Another news this afternoon. We all know it's important now more than ever to give blood. And as a reminder this week, we're teaming up with Vitalant for the KCRA 3 Blood Drive for Life. And joining us live now to talk about this is Dr. Christopher Grensons. Uh, doctor, thanks for joining us. Why now is it more important than ever? Thank you, Ms. Gonzalez. Um, the reason is that we have greater numbers of patients being transfused than I've seen in a long time, both locally and across uh, the country. And we have fewer donors coming in at this time, largely because they're faced with so many competing priorities. So anything we can do to get donors in the door to give safe and healthy donations is appreciated. So you're seeing more uh, transfusions than you've ever seen before. Why, why is that? Uh, part of it, uh, I'm told by clinical colleagues whom we support is pent up demand. Uh, a lot of procedures that were just put off for too long, in some cases leading to worsening of patients' conditions mm -hmm. such that they need more blood than they would have otherwise. Uh, and then just part of it is just the normal usage uh, caused by, uh, by life. And we know that the, the inventory really took a hit during the pandemic as people were not going to, because of COVID, doing their regular weekly donations like a lot of people did. Um, has the yes. inventory recouped from that? It's gotten better. Uh, however, we're still at a relatively tight level. For instance, for our group red, O red cells, we're at what we call level two, which means that uh, we're at the point where we're in some cases triaging which hospitals get blood products which do not get as much. I can assure you that no patients in our region have suffered as a result of this, but it has been hand to mouth and sometimes it keeps me awake at night thinking what would happen if we were to have tremendous need that outpaces our supply. And, what for, and for what blood type was that that did you say? For red cells, we're especially looking for group O, both O positive and O negative. Mm -hmm. For plasma, we love AB, we'll take group A or other types as well. And really any donors who can come in, we encourage you to reach out to us so we can see how we can schedule you to donate if you're able to give. Uh, so I'm AB positive. Um, ah. Is that a good one? <laughs> yeah, it, it is in two ways. For you, it means you're a universal acceptor. Uh, God forbid if you should need blood, you can safely receive any ABO type. Hmm. Uh, but from a donor perspective, it means that your plasma can be given safely in almost all instances to any individual. Without knowing the patient's ABO type, we could take your plasma and run it in and save a life. So whenever you get a chance to donate, Lisa, we'd love that. I would love to, I will do so as soon as I possibly can. And that's also for other people who are AB positive. I never knew that about my blood type. So that's really, really good to know. Um, and I know you already said some of these shortage, you know, just the, the shortages or near shortages are what keep you up at night. Anything else concerning you in regards to our blood situation right now? Well, actually, one thing that's a positive, Lisa, is that we have progressively been expanding our donor base uh, by eliminating, with the help of the federal government, barriers. For instance, millions of donors who previously have been deferred for spending significant time in Europe, especially the United Kingdom and France and nearby countries, are now able to donate. So if you were deferred for that reason in the past, would you please contact us? And the chances are pretty good that we could get you back in, all other things being equal. We're also looking at other ways to expand our base and make blood donations fairer, more equitable and capable of helping more. All right, Dr. Greshens, that's great news to hear. And thank you so much for all those updates. We appreciate it. If you want to know more or you want to donate, please just scan the QR code at the bottom of your screen right now. It'll take you right to our website to sign up for an appointment. The blood drive we're hosting is happening tomorrow through Saturday at Sierra College in Rockland. And then Thursday and Friday, you can donate at the Sacramento YMCA. It's right next to the WX Freeway. There are still appointments available. Vitalant's accepting whole blood and power red donations at both location. So we appreciate everyone who can take the time to donate, donate and save a life or many, maybe even more lives.